The Materials Processing Institute was delighted to receive a commitment of funding of £22 million from the Chancellor of the Exchequer in his budget. And this money is to be spent on steel research to decarbonise the steel industry. This is an incredibly important commitment from government, recognising the vital role of the UK steel industry in our economy. But more than that, it also recognises the national status of the Materials Processing Institute as the place where this innovation and research happens in the UK. The £22 million that we've managed to get from the government in the budget for the Material Processing Institute will achieve a huge amount, not just in the immediate term, but will really he help set the focus of the region as a whole. We'll be able to see huge amounts of research in metals processing across the piece, but in particular, something that I'm obviously particularly interested in is around steel making, electric arc furnace technology, how do we use those new technologies in a developed nation like the UK and how do we make sure that we're internationally competitive in a region that has led the world in steel making before. I could not think of a better partner than the Material Processing Institute to do that and this funding means that they now have a long-term future but they also retain that skills and research and expertise to help guide me on how we bring steel making back to Teesside. Well, this investment means that we can now look to start bringing steel making back to Redcar and the Materials Processing Institute is such a key part of that plan. This investment secures their position here as a world leading innovation centre and I'm, I'm really pleased to see it. There's this continuous, relentless innovation in steel that drives the industry forward, but also drives forward all developments in our manufacturing economy as well, because steel is used in generating uh, materials for automotive, for aerospace, uh, for energy, for the new technologies that we need to decarbonise the economy as well. And so we can see why this is important for the UK, but it's also important for Teesside as well, because in Teesside, we're trying to drive forward a brand new industrial revolution, attracting companies to locate on the South Tea site, companies active in green energy, in materials and in manufacturing. And the innovations that we do here at the Materials Processing Institute will help those companies to be the successful industrial companies of the future.